Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Isaac. the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I need to get uh, random.org up here, my mistake, random.org. And we want numbers, integer generator, generate one random integer between 1 and 10. Get numbers, okay. There it is up on the top of the screen. As always, we're going to click it again. It is 3 again, which is Kane again. Which I actually think is fine, and inevitably some people are going to be like, well, that's not really random. Seems to show 4 and 3 an awful lot. It's, you know, that's part of the inherent nature of randomness, is that it's just as likely to come up with the same um, number two times in a row as it is to come up with any other number. Not all other numbers, you know, it is still like the, it's a lesser case, but anyway, I digress. 4M71WX6X. I am... Honestly, just happy to be here, you know? Ain't it good to feel alive? We really should not be taking damage here. I'm not warmed up. This is uh, the first run of the day. I'm just hoping to, you know, I'm hoping that the fact that we're starting as a character who is a little bit tankier is going to be beneficial for me. I made a great decision there, but it looked temporarily terrible. These enemies are, th like, I'm spooked on them, you know? I've got the yips now because of the fact that uh, they, well, similar enemies, the, the mullabooms, did almost kill me on our last run. Or at least I felt like they almost killed me. Whether or not we were actually close to death is uh, a matter of some debate, I suppose. But we should be fine, at least in the early game here. I would have loved the spirit heart there, but uh, long term, probably small rock actually is substantially better, so... Not gonna get too bent out of shape about it. We got two keys, which is lovely. That means... Probably one golden chest for now, unless we get uh, some extra money or maybe petrified poop and then some extra money here. And you know what? Little Haunt is totally fine as well. This is one of the items that I constantly forget is actually in the game because it shows up for me uh, only in fits and spurts. You know, it shows up rarely, but I think it's pretty good. I do want to go to our cursed room. I would love to have just like some extra HP fall on the ground so that I can justify it. You know, make sure I stay as close to full HP as possible because it is all about, you know, survivability here. There was a Tinted Rock and a chest over there as well, but I think we need one bomb for the Tinted Rock and the second bomb to actually gain access to the chest. So that, you know, it's going to be on my radar for sure. Those are things that I'd be interested in getting. Being able to two-shot these guys is really, uh, really nice for us. I gotta try, but... Before we try, we're just going to shoot all this and we're going to see what we get from the boss because I really don't want to screw myself up on the boss fight. It's just Dingle. Um, you know, chance for catastrophe relatively low here. Probably the third hardest boss you could face. Do I actually believe that third hardest boss? I don't know. Larry Jr. might be a little harder than Dingle. I mean that sincerely, even though I fought Larry Jr. a hundred times. It depends on whether or not you have piercing shots. Okay, HP. Latch key is HP. It's uh, Spirit Heart. So let's try for this. Don't fuck this one up. Burkano uh, was probably not worth the associated risk, but otherwise okay. At least we didn't get hit. That's important. Latch key. Let me just verify in my head. Does Latch key give you a Spirit Heart? Yes, it does. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh huh. Well, we'll take. No, we can't take anything. Holy shit, I almost killed myself. If we take anything, I die because I won't be able to get out of here. Wow, um, this curse room almost ended my life. Watch out for spikes, we know there's spikes available. I can't believe I almost took Book of Belial on that deal with the devil. Holy shit. The game keeps teasing me with like these, um, like wouldn't you like to take this? It's like new ways to die, it keeps teasing me with. Holy crap, I, uh, my heart's racing a little bit. I really did not think that it would be racing a little bit, but, you know, that's okay. Hoof. Hoof, 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 hoof. Ignore that, I just got an email and I wanted to check and make sure it was not important, and it was not. Okay. Maybe I should not be so distracted when I play the game. We should still get a deal with the devil on this floor, like our teleportation into the room doesn't count, I believe. And you know what? I'm happy that we at least took an extra second to think about it. I'm so, like... It could have been so easy for me to just walk on top of that and pick it up, as I am so wont to do in so many situations. Um, so, I'm, I'm actually a little bit proud of myself, if, if I may say so. And we should still get a deal with the devil here, so all is, you know, forgiven in that regard. Decent amount of money here, so if something goes catastrophically wrong, I lose my spirit heart, I should be able to buy another one. Small chance I might be able to pick up... Oh, jeez. Fucking fear shot, man. Small chance I might be able to pick up uh, an arcade, I can't remember. 
If I had over five cents, I think we got at least five out of that, and we're at ten now, so we're kind of like existing in that zone where I actually have no idea. All right, Larry Jr. showing up. Let's not get, you know, hit on Larry Jr. because I do want to keep as much HP as is humanly possible. So that we're not at any risk of death. It would suck to lose it on a cane run, you know. We've, we've had so many runs with one HP lately that uh, it would be nice if we could just have some comfort here on our run with two HP. It's another key back for us. So that room definitely paid for itself. We'll take that. Uh, at the very least, you know, there's a lot of reasons why we want to maintain one, at least half a spirit heart. One of them is that we can actually take a deal with the devil without dying. I know it's a novel uh, condition here, but it is indeed the truth. We can take a too hard deal and still, you know, live to tell the tale. I'm still, like, a little bit freaking out over the fact that I could have so easily ended my run by going into that curse room. But it's good because it's a cautionary tale. Now, if, if that ever happens to me again, I've insulated myself against it and I will be like, you know what, we gotta, well, I hope I'll be like, we gotta take an extra second to think about this. Don't rush into anything. I am gonna do a little bit more exploration before we fight our boss here. I think it's important that we, you know, get all the advantages that we possibly can because... I, well, ma mainly I want one more Spirit Heart, so I have more survivability if I uh, take an expensive deal with the Devil, but we'll see. I'd like to go to our Curse Room as well, but it is likely to cost us a Spirit Heart based on the fact that I don't think the Secret Room, like, literally can be adjacent to it based on the map layout right now. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Only two more of these guys. I didn't even think you'd be able to sneak in a shot, and our card is Strength. Pretty good. Dark Bomb is incredible. Uh, and by itself, almost guarantees us a win. I actually, well, I'm gonna blow this up. We've been we've been having a more sustainable relationship with our donation machine. Uh, that allows us to get Pandora's box, which I think we would use immediately on the next floor. Here it gives me like four spirit hearts, but it, it could give me like an HP upgrade on the next floor. I think I'd value a little bit more. So I think it's a smart play, and then we should get one payout from Dark Bum here. We won't go to our curse room yet. We'll save it. And I always, I get a little confused about how strength card works on deals with the devil. I think you can get a free deal with it, but you have to be a little cautious so that you don't accidentally kill yourself um, with the, the strange interactions that are entailed there. You know, you don't want to accidentally hit yourself with, um, or hit yourself with a strength card, take a deal you can't afford, and then when you leave, you have zero HP. But I think if you have spirit hearts, you should be insulated from the the negative possibilities of it. So Pentagram is lovely. You got another spirit heart for me, which I really appreciate. And Rotten Baby. Well, let's try it. This, there's no way this kills us. Yeah, we left with one HP, so we didn't really snag any bargain there or anything like that. But uh, it's still good. Rotten Baby's still good. We've got Press it in now. Let's check out our deal with the devil, or our curse room. And I am going to try to walk through this. I wouldn't say that was regrettable. It was definitely better than our last uh, deal, or our last curse room. Nice little suite of familiars here. I'm pretty happy with the way that this is looking right now, especially with Dark Bomb. You know, good damage. It's looking like we're probably sitting pretty in the early game here. We've got a nice little head start, at least. And uh, let's use Pandora's box. We got Pageant Boy. Could be better, could be worse. Could be a lot better. <laughs> it could only be a little bit worse, but that's okay. This curse room, then, is just a bunch of spiders, but that's okay. I'm being a little bit fast and loose with our HP because we have Dark Bum, so I'm like, well, you know, I don't want to lose HP, but at the same time, we can afford to lose HP, at least if we're doing it in constructive ways. You know, just getting hit by enemies, that's, that's a total waste, but uh, if we can have a chance to get some, you know, permanent rewards out of it for some temporary setbacks, then I think that's smart. But you know that already. You were the people who told me to go to the curse room in the first place back in uh, Vanilla Isaac when I was like, why would I go to the curse room? I went to it once in my entire life and it didn't work out for me. It really is uh, a valuable part of the, you know, today's balanced breakfast. We have no interest, well, we have an interest in that, but no uh, tools necessary to get it. Stand back. This is for you, Dark Bum. It's one half heart away from a payout, so... We're getting very close there. I would I would reroll my whole run because we're early and I'm not that nervous about it. But we do have such good items that I don't really want to. Uh, this is this is good. We're gonna try to do this. Uh, the four room is, is an item reroll or item pedestal reroller. So 
If we get a deal with the devil, and we don't like the items, we can reroll them. We might not be able to get back into the room, but, uh, you know, at least there's a chance for that. If we don't like our item room, we can reroll it. If we don't like our shop, we could buy the shop item and then reroll it. There's some value in there for sure, uh, if we choose to use it, but... Not to mention, we just got spirit hearts out of it anyway, so... There's a, a lot of positives associated with that room for the fairly low cost of two keys. In here, we have ten bombs. Ten bombs is actually, like, a pretty okay item, in my opinion. And I do mean okay, not, like, good, but it's it's acceptable. It's takeable. I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. Well, that's not even close to being true, but, you know, in this case, I'm going to act like it is. And I don't want to reroll either of those. I actually quite like those. But I think for, uh... Yeah, we'll take this. For fun's sake, we will um, re-roll probably 10 bombs. Thank you. Because 10 bombs could get better, uh, certainly could get worse as well. This looks like it's pointing to a second secret room right here, so obviously we gotta take advantage of that. And AAA battery is pretty sweet. If we can manage to actually pick up a spacebar item. We did have Pandora's box, obviously that doesn't really benefit from it. Much in the way that the original Tomb Raider film did not benefit from the burgeoning screen presence of up-and-coming British actor Daniel Craig. But still, you know, sometimes you gotta take what you can get and then, uh, you know, it's a long-term investment. Well, this is actually okay because of Krampus's head. No, no matter what, we're gonna take it, so we don't need to use the four room for this. I actually was kinda hoping for Krampus's head for once. Once every five, ro five rooms is actually not too bad there. Um, let's go to our four room. We'll explore the entire floor. I, I have basically given up the dream when it comes to boss rush, and to be honest with you, it's been working out really nicely for me. Like, I have not uh, suffered the consequences of giving up that boss rush dream, really. We've been winning fairly consistently, and I'm I'm happy for it. So this will re-roll not compass, but we're not going to get the compass anyway. But it will re-roll um, the ten bombs into anything else. Could be worse. Could be better. Uh, do we want to pick up like one of these bombs first? Maybe we do. No payout there, but that's okay. I would actually welcome an active item at this point. Even a shitty active item might beat 10 bombs in terms of usefulness right now. And actually, where would our secret room be? I just want to see if there's an off chance maybe we get enough money to make it practical to blow up our donation machine and get the compass. I wouldn't mind it. Uh, obviously, that's not going to be the case. Well worth it, though. Two bombs for two keys in a bomb. So basically one bomb... F oh! I, <laughs> I, my, my inertia carried me over there. Um, one bomb for two keys. Even though we got a lot of keys, I still think that's a pretty decent deal. Hey, we got Bloody Lust. That's actually a really good pickup for us here. And that is going to make it so I'm going to be unkind to our donation machine. Because I would very much like... Oh, it did re-roll the item in the shop without us picking it up. I didn't think it worked like that. Um, I want the chance to be able to get an arcade so we can get an IV bag, which would make for a really nice spacebar item, especially considering we don't have a spacebar item to work with right now. Oh, that coffee is far too hot. Don't, uh, don't go down that road. We will go into the curse room right off the bat. Now we have even more reason to do so because we have Bloody Lust, and it paid for itself. Of course, I'm not too worried about our HP given the fact that we have Dark Bomb backing us up here. And another double key room, how interesting. I There's no sense of stability on this run. Anything could change at any possible moment. I believe that 3 might reroll all the consumables that were on the ground, so effectively that might have done very little for us there, but we did use it. I don't think it rerolls them, like, proactively. Like, as they drop, they're gonna reroll into something that is different than what they otherwise would have. I could be wrong about it. I don't think I am, but... That's not just hubris, it's just like I don't understand how that would make any sense. Maybe that's just me projecting. It's like if you had a six room, it re-rolled you every single floor. I guess well, Missing Note does do that, but the six room doesn't. I gotta say, you know, we've been on a pretty good run, but Magic Mushroom has not showed up in quite some time. That's me trying to guilt Magic Mushroom to showing up. You might say, Northern Line, why are you trying to guilt an inanimate object um, governed by the mathematical laws of a cruel universe? And I say, I believe in the power of, um, of empathy. Human to robot empathy. And that's why they're going to kill me last when the apocalypse happens. Which will probably be in our lifetime, statistically speaking, you know, thanks to Moore's Law. Thanks a lot, Moore. More like less, less humans alive thanks to your protocols. And anyway, I'm joking, of course. John Moore is a techno saint. Uh, devil card. We'll just hold it. 
I've become very... Mm, I've become very skeptical of the abilities of the Devil card to give us a deal with the Devil. I feel like I have anecdotal evidence that it doesn't work as intended. Oh yeah, baby. We only have 2 HP to hold. So I am going to take... Uh, well, if we have 2, we should take 2 things. We'll take Hairball and Knife. I almost died on the last run, so I'm not going to feel uh, bad about taking Mom's Knife. Absolutely not. I'm going to invest in myself, and I'm going to enjoy what appears to be a pretty leisurely run here. Really good chance of hitting 75, actually. If we have Mom's Knife on a cane run, decent HP, you know, Dark Bomb obviously backing us up here, and South Beach bringing the heat, party in the city till the break of dawn, all night on the beach till the break of dawn. Honestly, that just sounds exhausting. You think Will Smith ever regrets Miami? Not the millions of dollars made from the single Miami, but... I mean... I've been there, you know, in my early 20s. That sounded great. Can't feel a drip on the strip. It's a trip. I only came for two days of playing, but every time I come, I always end up staying. Well, you should really, like, think of that in advance, man, because you're going to pay some serious, like, airplane um, rescheduling fees. It's just fiscally irresponsible for you to keep making the same mistake. Oh, snap. If I'd known that this was here, I probably wouldn't have taken the knife, but it's okay. No, yeah. Mm. Definitely BFF here, right? I'm, I'm starting to feel a little anxious about our HP, just because I uh, can't see it. But I'm assuming that we're fine. We had a decent amount before. If It would be the ultimate irony and, you know, hubris and cautionary tale if taking Mom's Knife ended up actually killing us. But, not killing us, but contributing very much so to our deaths. But, uh, I feel like we're in a great position. We look like uh, Bruce Springsteen. Minus the hair, of course. Uh, I can get down with that. Petrified Poop is better because we don't have a trinket, but you got to imagine AAA battery is going to be better for us in the future. All right, that's a lot of spirit hearts. I was uh, on nervous for undue reasons. Okay, we need some extra consumables. This is where we trade, you know, our full cabinet of keys for, like, basically any other consumable that we could possibly stomach here. Chaos card, it's, it's kind of fun. I'm just going to use this on whatever enemy is, like, most annoying in my near future. Whatever boss is most annoying in my near future. Fool card. Moon card. Well, you know what? Let's get rid of the devil card for the chaos card. And we'll hold on to the moon because it does give us an out for, uh, for boss rush. Which could be fun. I don't really... I mean, I do want the matchstick, but we don't need it. And I still think AAA battery could be a lot better for us. Gotta master that diagonal shot, man. It works out so nicely. Come on, at least give us, like, little little Chad. Little Chad is the final piece of the guaranteed win here. Although I've got to admit, Mom's Knife BFF Rotten Baby is going to be a goddamn force to be reckoned with. Maybe we'll have, like, a third chance to buy the compass here, and if... Oh, that was very dumb. If we get it, then um, we've got a very good chance at getting to Boss Rush and then getting out with this Moon card. That's for you. Dark Bomb, finally you get a chance to pay out, and immediately I'm going to throw your spirit heart away, but I threw it away for a constructive purpose, to pick up six flies, which in hindsight does not seem that important. Oftentimes this is a secret room, so I didn't have to lose that spirit heart, a little bit of a sloppy play for me to just give it up so easily. Two of hearts, kind of worthless, we got mini mush, I'm not going to complain about it. Strength, two of hearts, what's this? Algae's rune, Joker card. I'm going to use Joker right away. Man, the cautionary deals with the devil are like a real thing here. And we'll take the Algae's rune with us. Uh, it can really save us from some scary situations. And also, this allows us to actually do boss rush as opposed to um, teleporting away. So if we just get there in time, we should be fine. But we might not get there in time. But if we do, that would be cool too. I'd be fine with it either way. Really getting, like, a consumable drop every single room. Uh, this is gonna slow us down a little. Actually, no, never mind, because we can't even get into it. Let's see what we got in here. Both of these are pretty terrible, or all of these are pretty terrible. So, we're just gonna leave. And again, one of those, like, my favorite kind of runs. Damage is so good. HP leaves a little bit... Wait, well, hey, might as well take it, right? HP leaves a little bit to be desired, but... That's okay. 
And we did leave some consumables behind, but I'm gonna start tearing ass just a little bit here. Tearing ass, I mean, it's different than ripping ass, which I understand is probably confusing if you're coming from the, uh, like, a English not as your first language. Just one of those things you gotta remember. Tear ass means work hard, go fast. Rip ass means you are farting. So, you know, very good. Don't say, hey boys, let's all get together and rip ass this weekend. That's gonna come across the wrong way to your, your newfound male colleagues. Instead, you should say, you know, I hope you have a pleasant work environment. Uh, let's work to the contractually obligated level and, and maintain a good work-life balance while we're here. Because we have loyalty to ourselves and not our company. That's, that's gonna get you in less trouble. Okay. Check this out. We did get old bandage. Oh, that's amazing, of course. We did get old bandage. I didn't really talk about it. Uh, but the old bandage pickup is sweet. I feel stupid now. But the old bandage pickup is sweet. You know, I'm going to use Algus here to try to get IV bag. Or blood bag, for that matter. The old bandage pickup is sweet because uh, it gives us the chance to get red hearts when we take damage. And that means that uh, Dark Bomb has a little bit more to feed on. So there's IV bag. We definitely do want to roll with this. The, the obvious problem with it is that we, uh, we don't have enough HP to really use this on the next floors, like the womb where double damage happens, so um, we'll try to pick up some more HP, one of the rare situations in which we actually want to stack up HP red hearts on the womb. Of course, we're also very close to becoming guppy, but you know, you, you've you been down this road before, you don't need me to talk about that. We are going to win this run almost 100% certainty. Could actually use bump friend a little bit here and actually IV bag synergizes super nicely with old bandage as well use IV bag we get a bonus from bloody lust and then we get a chance for a red heart to drop from old bandage it's a really nice situation if the red heart drops from old bandage we either pick it up and keep hurting ourselves or we give it to dark bum for the chance to pick up some extra spirit hearts oh come on rotten baby this is like you have to get in here thank you we may still be able to make Boss Rush. I know that seems ridiculous. We can kill Mom in like a second with this Chaos card to get into Boss Rush if we want to. Mmm, we'll talk about that. Please, let me out. Let me out, you dicks! You dicks! I'll just fucking go pick it up. It was an anus rune! Thank you for the Spirit Heart. Oh, we do want that though. Even though it hurt us on the way out, I'm still trying to make good time here. Um, you know what? We're not gonna make it. If we if we make it, it'll be luck, so let's not focus too much on it. I only came for 20 seconds of playing, but every time I come, I always wind up staying! Unfortunately. Man, I've really slowed down my play. It's hard for me to argue with the fact that slowing down my play has really helped me out, you know? I'm doing a lot better as a result of it. Chaos card. Uh, the, the other one was Anzus, so it's the Vision Rune. And Ansu's the vision room. We'll just use our death card like right here. Easy enough. Okay. Last item room. Parasite. Pretty much worthless, but also totally fine. Let's get this off the screen. We did miss boss rush. Probably by about, you know, 45 seconds in the end. Wow, you are faster than I expected. And I, on my way to the boss rush, to, potentially here, I've played very sloppily. Let's uh, remind ourselves that it's, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Pretty terrible tinted rock there. Two of spades, I'll just pop. Temperance, uh, I'll use. We can do that. Okay, so that's the way we do that. I want to use it uh, because if we get another blood bag, we can get some really good stuff out of it. But let's let's not throw away all of our spirit hearts, although we do have nine lives. I don't want to lose our HP that we worked fairly hard to get, actually. And by fairly hard, I mean accidentally played the blood bank twice and made it happen. So we want this. Oh, you know what we definitely want to do is donate like crazy to our donation machine. And that wasn't necessarily like crazy, but I appreciate it either way. <laughs> At least it took something. We got some HP back, of course. So we use this, then walk in here. And that's exactly what I wanted to happen. All right. So now we've got enough HP to get a little bit of a damage bonus from Bloody Lust. It is something... You know, we, we want to make sure we actually want to do it before we do it, because our HP is not super good here. In case you didn't notice. Our damage is pretty amazing, though. We're one item away from becoming Guppy. I... I know... I, I almost feel like taking... Thank you. I almost feel like taking Brimstone after taking Mom's Knife is like extending an olive branch. Like, that is actually... Um, it's more interesting to have Brimstone Mom's Knife because of the fact that it shoots out that sweet-ass synergy, so... 
Here's my peace offering. Uh, yes, I will take Brimstone. Curse of the Blind, always a little scary. I'm going to use the Ansu Strewn here. You never know um, what kind of items you're going to end up taking with Curse of the Blind, which is obviously the point. And there are a few items in the game that can really hamper a one run. But uh, I think we're probably fine. We we're fine with taking HP. You know, we're not going to ruin an existing permanent Polaroid invincibility. Five cents out of a out of a golden poop is like the worst haul you can possibly have, I think. Check this out. A little scary, of course. Just a lot of spiders, followed by Guppy's head, followed by Guppy's head, followed by some bombs that I'm not a huge fan of. Okay, I mean, it did hurt us there. I'm a little bit less worried about our HP now because we have the exact same amount that we'd have when we respawn with nine lives, so effectively, I don't see much reason to, like, worry too much about keeping this specific life alive. I would prefer to, you know, there's something to be said about bragging rights or, I don't know. Just not dying means that the run is going to be a lot less nerve-wracking. We got some spirit hearts that we could think about and protect here, but that was not my creep. We're going to need some more red heart drops, though, if that's going to be super likely. This might end up being one of those runs where it's really all about, like, uh, just the fact that we have nine lives carrying us through. No tinted rocks. Lots of money dropping. Just, like, completely worthless, but... I'm, like, holding my breath in the hopes of, like, a single red heart dropping at some point in my young life, but it's not happening. Okay. There we go. Any diagonal shot looks way more impressive when there's a flurry of knives that come out after you. Magic Mushroom, I told you, it'd been forever since we had it, and then we got it. Necronomicon is real terrible. IV Bag is not necessarily better with one HP on the womb, but uh, it's it's certainly a lot cooler. And there is a Tinted Rock back here. You never know how important one Spirit Heart can be. So, we traded the HP of Magic Mushroom away for the Necronomicon, which is one of the worst trades I can possibly imagine. However... We also, ooh, careful. We also, uh, yeah, we probably do want that. We also got the tears and damage upgrade from Magic Mushroom, or damage multiplier from Magic Mushroom, which is amazing. And I have a good feeling that this room is going to contain our last guppy item. Mm, <laughs> it looked increasingly unlikely as time went on there, I suppose. And now our knives, which are normally a, a little weaker than you'd expect from either a brimstone laser or from a mom's knife uh, hit are actually going to be sweet and sick nasty, whatever that means. But I'm going to say it because I want to fit in, and on a one run like this, that's the time when we're going to start trying out... Uh, ooh. It's the time when we're going to start trying out new catchphrases. Finally, a half-red heart. I still think BFF should make it so Dark Bum pays out, like, 1.5 times faster. Which, now I'm, I'm trying to do that in my head. I'm like, what is that? It pays out at, like... Two thirds of a spirit are at two thirds of a red heart. It makes no darn sense. Maybe my math is all messed up there, but uh, either way, I think it's probably fair to say that Dark Bomb doesn't need a buff. It's still one of the best items in the game, even after its nerf. Which was several months ago, but I just can't let it go because they soiled it. Now, if we could just, like, I'm basically in the mood to finish this run now, 10 minutes ago. Get on with the Isaac run, because the Isaac run that we have next is going to be win, well, it's gonna, we're attempting win 75. Win 75 is of extreme symbolic import for me, because it's, it means that that streak plus our second best streak is enough to hit 100. And also, it's, it's three quarters of the way to 100, which is exciting, of course, for me. It's another step on the road. Every step, you know, takes you equally closer to where we want to be. But... This one a little bit. It's it's like a signpost. You know, if you were running a marathon, sure. You know, you got to put one foot in front of the other. But every mile marker on the way to 26.2 is probably going to be a little bit more significant. Because it marks your progress. Like, it's, it's a formal mark of your progress. That's why speedrunners have splits. You know, every every second in the game is worth the same. But some are worth more of the same than others. That doesn't really make any sense. You get the idea, though. 
It was a, a half-assed uh, Animal Farm attempted reference. So we do have Wheel of Fortune, so we're gonna get five items on our chest. I really hope one of them is the mind, <laughs> just so we can kind of keep our momentum up, although I'm a little nervous that if I start an Isaac run like right after this without taking a small coffee break, I'm gonna be like, my damage is incredible, and then all of a sudden I'm gonna maybe not be dead, but not play as fantastically through the first couple of floors as I know uh, I would like to in order to keep this train rolling. Was that, oh, it was a bomb. I thought it was the cancer trinket, just from the animation, but it was just uh, two bombs. Not that that's bad. Uh, we'll, we'll use the sun card. I'm assuming we're close to the boss anyway, but we might as well use the sun card to see where we're going. And you know what? My assumption was incorrect. We were not at all close to the boss. Well, okay, we were still pretty close to the boss. Let's not get, you know, let's not misrepresent it like we're in a bad situation here. Warren Buffett lost uh, $32 million this hour, but he still has, you know... He has enough money. I think he's going to be fine. I don't know. My, my hands are working faster than my brain is right now. Maybe it's just it's because I just finished watching the Microsoft EA press conference. On, or the E3 press conference. Sorry. Microsoft EA conference is another thing altogether. I really thought I'd be able to kill you before you could do anything. I'm not going to give you my live thoughts on the E3 conferences because it's going to be like a week late. But I, I guess I am. I thought Microsoft did an okay job, you know. I've not got a huge interest in Forza, Gears of War, or a new Halo game, but I imagine if you own the Xbox One, you, you may. You may well have an interest in those. Um, backwards compatibility is cool. The Rare Collection, assuming it actually works, is something that I would uh, I'd be interested in playing. I think $30 is a good price point for it. And I gotta admit, you know, it's only conceptual, really. But that new Rare game, Sea of Thieves, that looks like a multiplayer pirate uh, game, looked, looked pretty neat. Fallout 4 mods working on Xbox One, like mods made on PC working on Xbox One, is a really cool idea, but I have to imagine that most of the people who care about mods right now are probably just going to pick up Fallout 4 for PC anyway, assuming it they meet the minimum spec requirements for it. Um, and if they don't, for the price of an Xbox One, they could probably make it happen. But what's cool about it is that maybe it'll be a way to introduce more people that previously have not been interested in the modding community to the modding community. And that's, that's always a good thing, I think, you know? Often a good thing, I think. Anyway, I'm, I'm recording this on like Monday morning, so the Sony conference is not happening yet. Ubisoft might be happening like right now. EA is happening pretty soon. People are mad at me for saying it, man, but I'm excited to see what they're doing with NHL 16. And it sounds like a joke. I'm like, man, I, I really want to see the EA conference, but I should really record some videos. People are like, you're not missing anything. I'm like, yeah, damn dog, though. Like, like in NHL 16, I want to be, a, I want to do be a player mode as a stay-at-home defenseman in the Vancouver Canucks organization. I know that that sounds completely illogical to you, uh, but I'm into it. And you know, realistic playoff beard physics—it's something that I can get down with a little bit. But mostly, I just hope they make the game better. But you know, different strokes for different folks. I know not everybody's into sports games, of course. Um, but you can watch the Mirror's Edge stuff while I look away from the screen so I don't throw up for motion sickness. Now, this is a bad game. It just gets my inner ear going, you know? This is it. Chaos Card, thanks for being a, a friend here. We're in a 29-minute cane run. That's pretty fast. I had a good time on this run. Lots of momentum coming into our next episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. We are looking at... Win 75 coming up next. Pretty crazy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.